Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, webinar on the new affiliate uh, education and training needs uh, survey. A new members uh, recently incorporated to Transplant Child, so it was important to uh, to know their uh, E and T uh, needs because probably the they are not the same like the uh, like the partners that incorporated from the beginning in Transplant Child. This survey has been designed following the, the principle that we established a, a years ago and that we have been followed in previous uh, survey, uh, dividing transplantation in three different phases, a uh, pre-transplant, transplant as and post-transplant procedures. And the topics that are in included in every one of these uh, phases have been uh, decided by the working group after several meetings and deciding the in which areas we have to uh, to do our uh, research and uh, our training uh, so we have to admit uh, for this survey like for many other activities of the of Tasman child that we have a serious problem contacting people we don't have uh, people uh, registered for different centers we, we just have one representative all of them are physicians, so when we send a survey, when we send uh, act different uh, activities, it's very difficult to have response if you don't have, if, if the, the center don't have like a dissemination, a mailing list or something uh, inside the, the proper center. Uh, so for all of you that are listening to this webinar, please remember to write to Transplant Child and to, to register yourself inside network and will be included in the mailing list for, for the following activities. And this is especially important, I said again, for nurses. The, so the limitation, uh, the limitation is the number of uh, responses we have. We have only five uh, respondents from two, from four different centers. And this, this is not much to have very robust conclusions anyway. Uh, these are the, the results of the survey. Um, the first question after the identification of the person who was answering the, the question was uh, directed to uh, how many years uh, to the experience of the center. So the question was how many years have you been working in a pediatric transplant unit? Um, uh, in case that uh, they have been working in mon more than one unit, they were asked to response uh, with a more experienced uh, program. So most of them have been working for uh, more than five years and only two have been working for less than one or two years. This is important to say from the beginning that only five people from four different centers respond to the survey. So the, we have to be careful uh, uh, ex extracting a very robust conclusion because not many people answer the survey and all of them were physicians and uh, no one respond from the nurse uh, side. So overall, uh, as I said before, three had more, more than five years of experience and two have uh, less of uh, one or two years. Regarding which type of transplant recipient do you have in your unit? One center have uh, four different uh, programs, this blue color, bone marrow, heart, kidney, and liver. Uh, one center have two programs, kidney and liver, and the remaining three had only one program, bone marrow, liver, and liver again. Uh, about uh, which phases uh, of pediatric transplantation would you like to receive extra uh, training? We had uh, the same five responders, and uh, most of them uh, like to uh, receive uh, extra training in the post-transplantation phase, yes, you see here in, in green color, followed by it's important for them uh, uh, speaking out to uh, ENT at, at this moment was uh, the phase of transplantation, the transplantation procedure. Areas before transplantation, would you like to see a training? So this is referred only to a pre-transplant phase, and they prioritize a receiving extra training in family approach, 
and communication skills with transparent recipient peer They prioritize uh, early complications and graph survival and the impact on in, and how to improve the long-term impact of uh, graph survival. In the uh, post-transplantation phase, uh, they pre prioritize with the same level of prioritization mostly here, they prioritize immunosuppression treatment followed by drug monitoring infectious uh, infection management and acute and chronic reaction with the same uh, with the same score the last three of them in which of the following areas of transplant research would you like to see additional training programs they prioritize biomarkers here at the end biomarkers for tolerance rejection uh, prediction followed by Novel tools for tolerance induction and European platform uh, research. Uh, this is interesting because uh, uh, these are the activities in which we have been focused in the in the previous year: uh, biomarkers, uh, tools for uh, induction, and of course uh, European plat platforms. The technology or medical areas are you interested in? In this case, they were asked to check to check all that apply, not uh, not prioritization like in the previous uh, questions, but uh, checking all that apply, and they they uh, decide that the most important area were, were a microbiological test and gene therapy. Last question: Which method of training would you be uh, would be most effect effective, taking into account the, the, the pandemic and uh, the, the current situation, etc.? And they decided that the most interesting uh, training method was internet e-learning, like like this uh, webinar, followed by face to face. So this is also interesting because most of us still are uh, missing the uh, traditional face to face uh, meetings. And the last one was video and none of them selected reading documents or, or other uh, media. So the conclusions, uh, we, we have to start admitting the, the serious limitation of having just five respondents from uh, only four different centers and all of them uh, from the physician's side, no one for the uh, nurse teams. And uh, the, they prioritize in, in research uh, dedicating the following uh, education and training activity to biomarkers and novel tools for tolerance and European platforms. In biotechnology, gene ther therapy and um, microbiological tests, followed by social care, psychosocial issues and therapy. And the, in the methods of training, uh, they decide uh, to go for uh, e-learning and face-to-face. And regarding the prioritization areas in the pre transplant phase, communication skills, family approach, in the transplant uh, phase, early complications and graft survival, and in post transplantation phase, immunosuppression management, drug monitoring, infections, and acute and chronic reactions. So that's all. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I, I hope that this uh, survey was uh, really helpful for, for all of us. Thank you.